Hey guys, it's me Kate again. So this video will be my May wrap up. Uh, I read a lot in May. Um, the correct number of books that I read is 83 but 60 something was uh, I read 60 something volumes of manga in school mostly because I didn't really care for the classes so <laughs> the actual number of following novels that or books that I read without manga is around 20 Maybe even less because I'm not completely sure how many volumes of manga I actually read. I could calculate it easily, but I just don't want to. I tried! It's too many of series that I need to count. So the first thing that I read in May is Dominic Pauline Pearl by Sonia Pollack. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. This is my, I don't know what I read of this. I read this first time in third grade. Yeah, third grade. So this is a um, first book in like companion series where we are following Paulina P and her adventures. Uh, this is when she is in, I think, third grade. Uh, let me just check. Um, I think third grade uh, and her shenanigans in school and at home and uh, there, are, uh, there are also illustrations and it uh, it's like children's book slash middle grade so and it's in creation <laughs> Whew, um, then I read, uh, actually listened to the audio book of Stem from the Beginning by Ibram S. Kendi, which I DNF'd. <clears throat> I managed to listen to, I think, till the last part. I think. Like I was around six, uh, I think till the last part of the book because the book is um, like sectioned uh, session into parts and just couldn't anymore. I do think it's because of the narrator who actually felt like they gave him basically list of things he needs to say and let him, uh, let him do whatever he wants with it. That's how it felt. And I couldn't. So that's my first out of four DNFs in uh, May. Oh, then I read 30 volumes of Food Wars Shokugeki no Soma. So volumes 6 through 36. Uh, uh, I read what? I did read one book in between of them, but... Or multiple. I read some things in between of them, but... It took me 5 days to read 30 volumes of flowers. It's not surprising, it is by Yuta Tsukuda, Shun Saeki and Yuki Morosaki. Uh, so we are following uh, Yukihira Soma who is working with his dad in a diner and one day his dad comes and tells him that he's going to work with a friend and, uh, and close down the shop for in a few years and send Soma to this boarding school where 
which ends up being the most elite cooking school in Japan. Um, uh, and uh, on the first uh, time when you see in the first look it looks like a normal uh, school where students learn and stuff and then you will see this basically this is not normal but it's shonen so <laughs> in between the uh, volumes of manga, considering that I read them in school, so I read some things outside of school also, I read Drogenernik Paulina, uh, which second in Paul, uh, by Sanya Park, which second book of Paulina, but this, here she is in, I think, fourth grade. Um, I think <laughs> I'm not completely sure and here we have more of her shenanigans also in between of reading flowers I listened to audiobook of uh, all systems read by Marta Wells which is first uh, is installment in um, Murderbot series and in this series you are following Murderbot uh, who is a security robot ro um, security unit uh, who instead uh, who really wants to not do anything and actually uh, would rather sit in their room and watch soaps than actually uh, be guarding humans. And also while reading Food Wars in school I listened to the audiobook of The Invention of Hugo Cabret by uh, Brian S I can read my own handwriting. <laughs> so uh, here uh, also I gave four stars to all systems read both of so four words and this of course were five stars. <laughs> the the mention of Hugo Cabret. So we are following Hugo Cabret who is. Uh, uh, an orphan living in the train station when he helps his uncle who is now dead uh, uh, take care of the clocks but uh, he is also trying to uh, repair this automaton that his father found in this burnt down Museum uh, which burned down, burned down while his father was in there, uh, and we are following him and his shenanigans. I gave it four out of five stars. I gave, uh, I thought some parts were boring and didn't care, of, didn't care for some of the characters. Then after I finally finished flowers in school, I read. Uh, a sparkle, a sparkle of sorcery by Michelle Harrison. So that's that's still, I think, first week of May, or second week. It might have been still the first week of May. So uh, here we're following the second book in a pinch of magic series. We're following three sisters, Betty, Charlie, and Phils, Fliss. I think it's Fleece, Fleece, who whose family was cursed, so the women in the family can't leave the island in the first book. 
and of course they went on uh, they went on an adventure to break this curse in this one uh, they go to an adventure basically with um, uh, the, the things that happened which leads them to go this place, place where only fairy tale uh, to the place that only exists in the fairy tales and nobody thinks it's real where they f uh, they found a lot of different stuff and meet some new companions along the way I gave it five out of five stars then in school I read first volume of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters uh, gave it four out of five stars I'm not really so uh, I read actually first seven volumes in school and all of them are still I think yeah first seven because I think I couldn't I couldn't find find the rest of volumes online. I gave them all four out of five stars. Um, here it's still uh, so you you do monsters manga is same as the anime because anime was based on the manga and closely follows it except for animes. Uh, um, virtual or world dark and uh, waking the dragon sark so I gave it four out of five stars I didn't really care that much about anything but it was still really good then I didn't have the audiobook of uh, ring shout shout by P jelly Del jelly Clark I tried to read it I came to about 50% through the audiobook before I kidnapped it I just couldn't um, the, the narrator was extremely uh, hard to follow um, the story and the characters uh, like were confusing me. Uh, the language of the writing was uh, um, really, really strange. Like I could uh, follow the most of it, but then they were there were some. Stuff said that didn't make a lot of sense necessarily to me, considering that English is my second language, it's not really surprising. And then I read Where Birds of Radiance Part 1. Uh, so the, this is and also Words of Radiance Part 2. Yes, I gave them I think both five out of five stars let me just check let me just check uh, yes both five out of five stars uh, this is actually this actually took longest to me, but it's over 100 pages, so I'm not surprising. Put together, so this is second book in Stormlight Archives. Uh, the f uh, the first book being uh, the Way of Kings. So in this series, well, we're following these two sides that are. Uh, that are at war and trying to get shard blades and shard plates on the land that is ravaged by storms and it all started when one side killed other sides I think a few countries years ago so uh, um, 
The first book is more on the battlefield. This one deals more with politics <laughs> of the world. So then I read in school uh, the entirety of GX manga. There are nine volumes, give them all five out of the five stars. Uh, it's actually really, really... This one actually doesn't follow the, follow the anime. Anime was um, done, uh, done without the manga. And manga was released after it came out. Or around the time uh, when it when the final season was airing. Uh, so I read all nine volumes. I loved it. We are still following Jaden and his friends in Doll Academy and their shenanigans. Only a few details are different. Uh, Atticus is in school in America. Um, along with Zane, Zane comes back first, then Atticus comes. They're the they're not dealing with the literal literal embodiment of darkness. They're dealing with with something else. And. Yeah, this is what, of what I can remember. Then I read the entirety of Zexal manga. Only reason I, uh, reason I skipped five days is the... Um, the link that I have for five days manga didn't work. So I decided to just skip it. Uh, so with Excel also doesn't follow the anime. And neither does Arc 5. For 5 Ds I don't know. As I said I didn't read it. Didn't read it. I'm sorry in Croatian actually everything goes double. So when you want to, for example, negate something, you just you don't say I didn't do I didn't do this, you said, I didn't know to do this. I know it uh, doesn't sound, uh, it sounds confusing in English, but in Croatian it does make sense. Uh, so, I read excellent manga, loved it, gave it 5 to 5 stars. So, I'm still following Yuma and Asha on trying to connect, uh, collect the numbers, but this, as far as it goes, for the storyline that's the same as the anime. Then I read in her to Arc 5 manga, get 5 out of 5 stars, of course. Uh, here, uh, this is a lot different than the anime. So, Yuya and Reiji are from the future and came back to the present time to try and fight something. Uh, Yugo, Yuto and Yuri are Yuya's brothers. Instead of his counterparts from different dimensions, uh, Kurosaki is for some reason Following Reji without saying anything, Sora also. Savatari, Savatari. I don't know what happened here. Um, then I listened to the Warrior Book of Outlander, gave it four out of five stars. Uh, it was it jived for me in some parts, and it was definitely too long. Now, so the creator for Yu-Gi-Oh is Kazuki Takahashi, 
and the uh, Outlander is by Ayanna Cal. I know there's a show. I know, so we're following this woman who. Uh, well, she is in Scotland, Charles, back in time, and basically lives there. And it's also between her and the guy she married there. Then I listened to the audiobook of Order of the Pure Moon Reflected in the Water by uh, Zencho. I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. I only listened to it to in its entirety because it's real short. Only a book. Um, even though Wing Shot is real short, I couldn't get through it, but uh, this one I listened to in one go. Everything gave it 3 out of 5 stars. Uh, it wasn't really what I expected. It was a little bit boring. And some things didn't make sense. I just say that. Then I listened to the audiobook of Indigo by Beverly Jenkins. It gave it 4 out of 5 stars. So we're following this woman who works for Underground Rail railroad and one day this guy is brought her who is horribly injured he leaves and they don't see each other for a year when oopsie daisy he bought her land after she is forced to sell it because uh, some because of some, some financial issues and it's their romance. Then I listen to Only When It's Us by Chloe L Lacey? Lacey? I don't know. Get 4 out of 5 stars. Um, now I'm now I have a hard time remembering what this one is about. But I read it and apparently enjoyed it, but um, it might be a contemporary. It might be. But I don't remember the details of it. Okay, let's move on. Then I DNF the audiobook of The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niff and Ger Ger um, I always went to read this book and so I found, when I found the audiobook of, on script I was like yeah I'm going to listen to it. I did game good part of the way through and can't go anymore. At one point it was like, sure, this could work and at the point that I came to it was like, nah, it's not gonna work. Then uh, I didn't have the other book of The Three Body Problem by Chin Lu, which is a sci-fi first contact with aliens. Uh, I expect to really enjoy this book, but uh, this is like really hard sci-fi and there is a lot of blah 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 between the characters of what they are going to do and I didn't care for it. So I didn't have to, they couldn't anymore after the part that I listened to, I just couldn't anymore listen to them. Then I listened to Red Winter by Annette Marie, uh, which is uh, actually when I, 
short story of how I found this book and Half Blood. Is it Half Blood? Yeah, Half Blood by um, um, I read it in April and I can't remember. But we'll check. Uh, we'll check. way too soon for April. Mm. By Elisa Casey. So, uh, this clip, one day I got really interested and basically type the book, like type in Google something like book with kids with us or something like that. And I found this list and both of them were on it. <laughs> and I was sure I'm gonna read these. So basically the Red Winter is about this girl who is supposed to be uh, be the vessel for this Goddess, I think. Yeah, a goddess, but it's not all uh, as nice as it, it seems. And one day she stumbles onto Kitsune in the, uh, while she's walking around the house where she's staying at and goes on, her, goes on an adventure. Adventure. Uh, with the kitsune. Then, then I listened to the audiobook of Red, White and Royal Blue, which is also the last audiobook that I listened to this in May. Uh, so, this is a love story between Prince Henry of England and first son of first of America who is son of the first ever female president of the United States. And in this world, a woman won uh, 2016 elections. And we're following their love story. The next thing that I read is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Croftfuss. It took me two weeks to read it. Mostly because I started reading it Right at the time I was online on online classes when I usually don't read it that much because I because I need to read stuff for school and I'm, and I'm uh, I don't want to read books right now so yeah I read this gave it what four out of five stars yes uh. The, the we're following quote who is for the first time in his entire life telling his whole story about his life and it will take him three days to tell it. So this is the first day. Then we had the second book which is the second day and the third book which is supposed to be third uh, day, but uh, it's a Game of Thrones situation. If you didn't know Game of Thrones, so the books actually, the final two books, at this point are never going to come out, even though I'm completely sure that George R. R. Martin has them written already, just so doesn't want to publish them yet. That's my theory. So yeah, I get four out of five stars and blurb on this book is just confusing uh, as hell. Listen to this. I have stolen princesses back from sleeping uh, borrow kings and burned down the town of Devon. I have spent the night with uh, Lorian and left with both 
My seventh year of my life, I was expelled from the university at the younger age and most people are allowed in. I dared pass by moonlight that the others fear to speak by during the day. Speak of during the during day, I have talked to gods, loved women, and written songs that make the menstrual sweep. My name is quote you may you may, you may have heard of me. For her, from that description, you wouldn't say, wouldn't uh, get anything that I just told you what the book is about. Then I reread the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and Quidditch Through the Ages, which are like add-ons on Harry Potter series. Yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked it, a like, share, and subscribe, and I'll now you have my social media and my email, and I'll see you in the next one.